Jonathan, the Colchester range never dies. It's continually evolving and yet again you've introduced Industry 4 to a manual lathe. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So, um, so what we've got here is, uh, is one of our core manual products. So this is a, a Colchester Triumph machine. So in essence, it's a, it's a fully manual machine. Uh, really without any kind of electronic intelligence in built, in built into it. And what we've done, we've applied our Industry 4 solution to the manual machine. Um, and the solution that we've developed uh, is scalable and it's also transferable across many manual machine platforms. So we can fit the solution not just to a manual lathe, but to a mill, uh, to a drill, to a saw, etc. And, and I would imagine, is this expensive? Um, absolutely not, no. Um, so this solution is, is aimed at the what we we'll refer to as the common machine shop. Um, so aimed at the SME market where customers will have a variety of, of CNC and non-CNC machines and again a variety of new and old machines that they're still using. Um, and, and this particular um, solution, um, it certainly isn't um, expensive at all. And what we're looking to do for the end user really is, is maximize their revenue on the asset that they've just bought. Now my next question would be, you know, I want to make my manual machine Industry 4 ready. How would, it, how would I interface this software with my machine? The interfacing uh, is very simple. So the solution that we've got is retrofitable onto, uh, onto any, uh, any machine tool, and it's a simple ethernet connection into your network. And now can you show me the dashboard and the information that I could gather? Yeah, absolutely, yes. So what we've got here, so each machine um, has its own unique dashboard. Um, and so what we're, what we're looking at here is displaying useful data um, to the end user. So here we're looking at things like running power um, and running cost. So you can actually see exactly how much your machine tool is costing you to run. Um, we're also looking at uh, machine uptime. What we also have on here is um, countdown to service. So when the machine hits certain trigger points uh, and it's getting ready for a service, this will actually then automatically communicate back to our service desk back at base. So our service team can then start to prepare the parts necessary for the service, will contact the end user, arrange a convenient time to come in and do the service. And what that's doing is it's ensuring that the customer has got minimum downtime for his machine. Um, so again, we're looking at this, this maximizing the revenue for the customer. Uh, we've also got on things, uh, things on there like uh, OEE. Um, so the end user, wherever he is in the world, through his smartphone, through his tablet, through the internet, he can look at the machine, um, live data feeds, and he can see exactly what the machine's doing. He can see whether the machine's actually switched on, he can see whether it's just stood idle, or he can see whether it's actually producing swarf uh, and making components. Um, other things we look at are things like uh, temperature monitoring, so we can start to look at um, condition monitoring, when things are starting to wear, um, and trying to predict, again, any potential failures in the future. Um, and if we can predict that, again, we can work with the customer, have all the parts prepared, minimum downtime for the guy. I think this is important in regards to the uh, spindle running on a manual machine because you know there's not such an emphasis for the spindle to be running on a manual machine. Hence, you know you can really get a sense of a return of investment. Absolutely, that that's exactly what it's for. Um, you know, you you can see through any 12-hour period um, how the asset's been utilised. Um, and, and because it's collecting the data all the time, you can actually go back in time as well. So it's not just a live feed on what's happening um, at that instant. You can actually go back the previous week, the previous month, and you can start to look at how that machine has been used over a period of time. How should people get contact yourself to, to, to find out how they can acquire this software for their machines? Again, just, just contact the, the general, uh, general sales team, um, general inquiry desk. Um, and again, to emphasize this solution, we can actually fit it onto to any machine. It's also a retrofitable solution as well. So don't just think that it's for, for brand new machines. If you've got existing machines in your factory and you're thinking about an Industry 4 solution, we can certainly provide that. Brilliant, Jonathan, thank you. Thank you, you're welcome.